If two vehicles arrive to a four-way stop at the same time? A. The vehicle on the left must yield to the vehicle on the right. B. The vehicle on the right must yield to the vehicle on the left. C. Drivers must make hand motions to communicate with each other. D. One driver should proceed without stopping. A. The vehicle on the left must yield to the vehicle on the right. In general, vehicles at a four-way stop should proceed in the order that they arrive. However, if two vehicles arrive to the intersection at the same time, the vehicle on the left must yield the right of way to the vehicle on the right. You are borrowing an unfamiliar vehicle from a friend. You should a. Not put too much thought into it because all vehicles are the same. b. Hide from your friend that you are unfamiliar with the vehicle. c. Disregard any obvious defects to avoid embarrassing your friend. d. Take a few minutes before driving to familiarize yourself with the operation and location of all the vehicle's equipment. D. Take a few minutes before driving to familiarize yourself with the operation and location of all the vehicle's equipment. When driving an unfamiliar vehicle, take a few minutes before driving to familiarize yourself with the location and operation of the turn signals, hazard warning signals, headlights and beam selector, windshield wipers and washers, brakes, gear selector, and horn. Any defects should be corrected before the vehicle is driven. When sharing the road with a truck, it is important to remember that trucks generally a. require longer distances to stop than smaller vehicles do. b. require less time to pass on a downgrade than smaller vehicles do. c. require a smaller turning radius than smaller vehicles do. d. require less time to pass on an incline than smaller vehicles do. A. Require longer distances to stop than smaller vehicles do. Because of their size, trucks need longer distances to stop than smaller vehicles do. When approaching a traffic signal displaying a flashing yellow arrow, drivers A. Should merge into a lane in the direction of the arrow. B. Should come to a complete stop. C. May turn left after yielding to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. D. Have the right of way and may expect oncoming traffic to stop for them. C. May turn left after yielding to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. A flashing yellow arrow indicates that left turns are allowed in the direction of the arrow. However, the oncoming traffic has a green light and you must yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. Want to ace you DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. This sign means A. One-way traffic B. Divided highway ends C. Two-way traffic D. Keep left B. Divided highway ends Warning signs are usually diamond shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This sign indicates that the divided highway is about to end. What is the first thing you should adjust, if needed, when you get into a car to drive? A. Your seat belt. B. The steering wheel. C. Your rearview mirror. D. Your seat. D. Your seat. When preparing to drive, you should first adjust your seat to ensure that you are in a comfortable position and can see the road clearly. Adjust your mirrors and steering wheel to be effective when your seat is fully adjusted. What do speed limit signs indicate? A. Potential driving speeds for the area. B. The maximum or minimum speed that is legally allowed to be driven. 
C. The speed drivers should drive in heavy traffic. D. The speed drivers should drive under poor conditions. To prepare for anything coming up on the road ahead, you should A. Continually scan the entire road and all roadsides. B. Stare straight ahead at all times. C. Drive with your left foot resting lightly on the brake pedal. D. Maintain focus toward the middle of the road. A. Continually scan the entire road and all roadsides. Your ability to handle dangerous traffic situations depends largely on searching for and identifying problems before meeting them. Looking far ahead of your vehicle does not mean you should simply stare at the center of the road. You need to continually scan the entire road, including the sides of the road. This road sign means A. Divided highway begins. B. A steep grade is ahead. C. The overpass ahead has a low clearance. D. Two lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions are about to merge. C. The overpass ahead has a low clearance. This sign warns that the overpass ahead has a low clearance. Do not proceed if your vehicle is taller than the height indicated, in this case, 13 feet, 6 inches. This road sign means A. The road ahead turns sharply right, then left. B. The road ahead turns sharply left, then right. C. The road ahead curves to the left. D. Construction ahead. A. The road ahead turns sharply right, then left. This sign indicates that the road ahead will turn sharply to the right and then to the left. To avoid being in a truck or bus driver's blind spot, you should A. Never pass them. B. Avoid driving alongside them and avoid tailgating. C. Flash your lights at them. D. Sound your horn. B. Avoid driving alongside them and avoid tailgating. Because a large vehicle, such as a truck or bus, has large blind spots to its sides and rear, avoid driving alongside such a vehicle and do not tailgate one. If you're going to turn left onto a one-way street, you should complete the turn into A. The right lane. B. The lane closest to your previous lane. C. Either lane. D. Neither lane. B. The lane closest to your previous lane. You should always turn from the lane that is closest to the direction you want to go. Turn into the lane closest to your previous lane. When driving in fog, you should use your A. Low beam headlights. B. High beam headlights. C. Parking lights. D. Hazard flashers. A. Low beam headlights. If you must drive in foggy conditions, you should use your low beam headlights, as well as your fog lights, if your vehicle has them. High beams direct their light upwards, where it can bounce off the fog and into your eyes, reducing visibility even more. This road sign means A. One way road. B. No right turn. C. Exit. D. Sharp right turn in the road ahead. D. Sharp right turn in the road ahead. This sign indicates that there is a sharp right turn ahead. When you see the sign, it means A. There is an object on the roadway. B. Traffic is coming from the right. C. The road is curving sharply to the left. D. There is a merge point ahead. C. The road is curving sharply to the left. Chevron signs like this indicate that the road curves sharply in the direction indicated by the chevron, in this case, to the left. 
There may be several chevron signs placed throughout a curve. A double solid yellow line down the center of a two-lane road indicates A. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are not permitted to pass. B. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. C. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are not permitted to pass. D. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. A. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are not permitted to pass. Yellow lines are used to separate traffic moving in opposite directions. Solid lines indicate that drivers are not permitted to pass. To check your blind spot when changing lanes to the left, you should glance A. Over your right shoulder. B. At your side mirror. C. Over your left shoulder. D. At your rear view mirror. C. Over your left shoulder. To check your blind spot, glance over your shoulder in the direction that you want to move. When driving on slick roads, you should A. Take turns more slowly than usual. B. Change lanes quickly. C. Accelerate quickly. D. Brake hard. A. Take turns more slowly than usual. While it is always dangerous to drive too fast on slippery roads, this is especially true when driving in turns and curves. Be sure to approach them more slowly in slippery conditions than you would under normal circumstances. It is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a minimum blood alcohol concentration BAC of A. 0.05% B. 0.08% C. 0.02% D. 0.1% B. 0.08% for drivers age 21 or older, it is illegal to operate a motor vehicle with a blood alcohol concentration BAC of 0.08% or higher. Driving while under the influence of alcohol is not only illegal, but dangerous. This sign means A. Crossroad ahead. B. Flagger ahead. C. Lane ends. D. Turn right or go straight. A. Crossroad ahead. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign alerts drivers to an upcoming intersection. Lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions are divided by fill in the blank lines a white b red c black d yellow d yellow yellow lines are used to divide traffic moving in opposite directions when approaching a railroad crossing you should a slow down b look for a train c be ready to stop. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. When you see any signs indicating a nearby railroad crossing, you should slow down, look for a train, and be ready to stop. If the red warning lights are flashing or the gate is down, you must stop 15 to 50 feet before the railroad tracks. Do not try to go around the gate. This road sign indicates A. The maximum safe speed for a residential area. B. The maximum safe speed for an expressway exit. C. The maximum safe speed for an expressway entrance. D. The maximum safe speed for a work zone. B. The maximum safe speed for an expressway exit.
This advisory speed sign indicates the maximum safe speed for a highway exit, in this example, 30 miles per hour. Your blind spot is the area of the road. A. You cannot see without moving your head. B. Directly behind your vehicle. C. You see in your rear view mirror. D. You see in your side mirror. A. You cannot see without moving your head. Blind spots are areas that a driver cannot see without moving their head. They can be located to the sides of and behind a vehicle. This road sign means A. Side road. B. Keep to the side indicated by the arrow. C. You may drive in the left lane. D. You have the right of way. B. Keep to the side indicated by the arrow. This is a keep right sign. It indicates that a traffic island, median, or barrier is ahead and that drivers must keep to the right of it. On a two-lane street, your vehicle is being followed by a fire engine that is not using its emergency signals. You should A. Continue to drive in a normal manner. B. Stop as quickly as you can. C. Speed up to get out of its way. D. Slow down, move as far to the right as possible, and stop. A. Continue to drive in a normal manner. If you are being followed by an emergency vehicle that is not using its siren or flashing lights, you do not need to clear a path. Continue driving in a normal manner. This sign means A. A left curve is ahead. B. A series of curves is ahead. C. An S curve is ahead. D. The road will be slippery when wet. D. The road will be slippery when wet. This sign warns that especially slippery conditions exist when the road is wet. When driving on major highways. A. Stay alert. B. Keep your eyes moving. C. Be ready to react to road hazards. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. It is important to stay alert on highways and be ready to react to unexpected hazards. To avoid highway hypnosis, you should avoid looking at any one thing for more than a few seconds. You are approaching a railroad crossing that has no visible gates or flashing lights, but has a standard crossbuck. You should a. Approach all tracks with extreme caution and cross only when you know that there is no train coming. B. Turn your radio down to hear if there may be an approaching train. C. Only continue once cleared to do so by a flagger, if applicable. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You must approach all railroad crossings with extreme caution and cross only when you know that no train is coming from either direction. If there is a flagger at a crossing, you must obey all of their instructions. Vehicle stopping distances never depend on A. Your own reaction time. B. The time of day. C. The condition of your vehicle's brakes. D. The condition and type of your vehicle's tires. B. The time of day. The distance that a vehicle needs to stop depends on the motorist's reaction time, weather and visibility conditions, the vehicle's weight, the conditions of the vehicle's brakes, the condition and type of the vehicle's tires, roadway conditions, and speed. If you reach an intersection where you wish to turn but you are not in the proper lane, you should A. Quickly cut across traffic to make your turn. B. Turn on your blinker and make the turn from your current lane. C. Drive to the next intersection and make your turn then. 
D. Safely change lanes then put your vehicle in reverse to go back to the intersection. C. Drive to the next intersection and make your turn then. Never make last-minute turns. If you reach an intersection where you wish to turn but you are not in the proper lane to make the turn, drive to the next intersection and then make the turn from the proper lane. You have the right of way when turning left on which of the following traffic signals? A. A solid green light. B. A flashing yellow light. C. A green arrow pointing left. D. A flashing red light. This sign means? A. Stop ahead. B. Buggy warning. C. Limited parking. D. Do not block intersection. A. Stop ahead. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers that there is an upcoming stop sign and that they should prepare to come to a complete stop before proceeding.